Hi, hi. I had started recording a video and got myself all in a tripped up place. So we're starting over. Um, so here we are talking about Mudhouse Sabbath and hospitality. So very quickly, what I would love to hear from you is what you liked about this chapter. Um, there was a lot of beautiful things in it, but the thing that stood out to me the most was um, the idea of hospitality doesn't mean that your home or you have to be perfect. So even though you need to be intentional about your hospitality, intentional, when when you set up your home, when you move, do you make spaces for people in it? Do you consider what people walking into your home might feel like? Do you put an extra chair at your table so that you can invite guests over? Um, do you have Do you have a place for people to stay? So those are questions to consider. But she also talks about how important it is not to get caught up in perfection. She says that if we are concerned about being perfect and kind of living up to the good housekeeping standards or perfection, that we'll never have any visitors. Um, so she talks about setting down your pride and inviting people into your mess. And she extends that even into your life. So your home is almost like a metaphor for your life. Um, if you're, you know, you don't want to invite people into a dusty home, you're never going to invite them in because something's always going to be a mess. But if you don't want to invite people in to your life until your life's perfect, then you'll never invite people in because your life isn't perfect. Um, she says we're meant to invite our guests to enter into our lives as they are. It is the forging of relationships that transforms entertaining into hospitality. Um, so she says visitors may be more than guests in our home. If they like, they may be friends. I thought that was really beautiful and a challenge for me because I'm someone who often thinks that I have to have all my, you know, for lack of a better phrase, all my crap put together before um, I invite people into my home or into my life. I've missed so many great opportunities for um, friendship because my house wasn't clean or I frantically cleaned it and then I kind of presented the people who were in my home because I was exhausted. So I think that's a helpful thing for us to consider. Very quickly, another thing that she puts into our um, the study guide, and I just want to read this to you, and in the last take I was reading the wrong one, so this is the right one. She talks about the importance of hospitality, even if there's a risk of being taken advantage of. And I'm wondering what you might think of that. She says, it is related of Joshua that he extended hospitality to all. A man arrived to whom he gave food and drink, took up to the attic and then removed the ladder from under him. What did the man do? He arose in the middle of the night spread out his cloak, took the vessels belonging to the room, which he wrapped in his cloak and was about to descend, when he fell and broke his collarbone. In the morning, Joshua came in, found, found him on the ground, said to him, You worthless person, do men act like you? He replied, I did not know that you had removed the ladder from under me. He said to him, Were you not aware that we were on our guard against you since yesterday? This story relates to how one of the ancient rabbis, Joshua, invited a man coronavirus like knocking on our back door and for some of us it's it's already here and so we're thinking about how we can love our neighbor best and still offer hospitality and so what does that look like what does it look like to um to be vulnerable to be taken advantage of um but also to be on your guard. And so I really would love it if we could dig into that. How does hospitality remain intact and how might it look or in what ways might it look different in a time of a pandemic? So that's the question I'm gonna leave us with today and I'm not gonna say anymore because I think it's a, a good one to sit on. I will hop on here later and write the questions down. I have a, a visit to make in about 10 minutes. So I look forward to talking to all of you tonight and be blessed, busy bees, stay safe, wash your hands and keep engaging this in this community because we're here. All right. Have a good day.